Hi YouTube, Watchify here with another video. This one's a bit different than my usual watch reviews as I'm going to go over my first full watch build. I'd been meaning to build my own watch for a couple of years now, but just never got around to it. I've done many mods before, but never done a full build. I was inspired by a recent video I saw from YouTuber Loomshot, where he showed three custom builds that he did. I really liked the blue one, so I started researching where to locate the parts to build one myself. So the credit goes to Loomshot to have the creativity to think of combining these parts to make a really great looking watch. I only changed a couple minor things. I've also been obsessed of late with the 42mm Minimized Marine Master model SPB185. So this build is sort of timely as it has the same style case, bezel, and bracelet. I bought all the parts online and I'll leave links in the video description. I got the case from Nomoki Mods along with the double dome sapphire crystal with blue AR coating, the sign screw down crown, stainless steel bracelet, and case back. I opted to not use the exhibition case back that Loomshot used in his video and I'm happy with the sandblasted look and better water resistance of this one. The dual time ceramic insert with blue accent was a bit tough to find but I did eventually find one at DLW Watches. As for the rotating bezel, I got that from Crystal Times. I would have preferred to get all my parts from Crystal Times USA as their service is great and they ship quickly, but Namoki had more parts that I needed for this build. Finally, in terms of the dial, hands, chapter ring, and movement, they're from an open box Seiko model SRPD81 that I purchased from a seller on eBay for a good price. Doing this saved me a lot of work in sourcing these parts individually and I can always use the rest of the SRPD81 for another build someday. It would have been nice to get my hands on an NH36 movement with a kanji day wheel as that's what Loonshot used in his video, but I didn't feel like spending the extra money for that and it would have caused more work to remove and reattach the dial in hands. So altogether, these parts cost me around 480 US dollars, and considering the end result, I think that's pretty good. I did run into some issues during the build though. The biggest one was getting the sapphire crystal to seat correctly. All of my tools are inexpensive ones from Amazon, so my crystal press really wasn't up to the task this time. I ended up needing to hammer down on the crystal multiple times to get it to level out. And of course I used a towel on top of it to not damage it. During the course of wrestling with seating the crystal, it got a lot of smudges and dust on it. I cleaned both sides as best I could, but after assembling the watch, I noticed some streaking on the underside of the crystal, and it was bothering me, so I had to open the watch again and fix that. Then I had the famous issue of alignment. It wasn't horrible, but it was bugging me, so I went back and took out the movement and nudged the chapter ring a bit to the right, which improved things. All told, it took several hours to finish this build. Surprisingly, I didn't have any issue with measuring and cutting the stem of the screw down crown. I'll link a video I found that was very helpful to me with that particular step. I'm really happy with the end result and have the added satisfaction of having put the watch together myself. I think I could have seen myself paying up to $600 for this watch had Seiko themselves released it. I'm still eyeballing that SPB185, but that watch cost $1,200, so for now I'm going to enjoy wearing this custom build and having it in my collection. I don't see myself building another watch like this, as I already own many watches and it's a lot of work to put one together. If you're interested in one like this and don't want to build it yourself, I think Loonshot could build it for you and sell you one. I don't know how much that would cost though. And just a disclaimer, I'm not affiliated in any way with Loomshot or any of the retailers that I got these parts from. Well, that's it for the video. Hopefully you found it interesting, and if you did, feel free to leave a like, comment, or subscribe. I wanted to thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in another video.